The first thing we want to do is get some of the striker material off of a matchbox and the best way of doing that is just with a blade like this, just scraping it off. I think it's a lot easier to just pretty much scrape it off like this. Okay, I've just about finished scraping most of that off of there. Any more scraping will just take the paper and glue that's underneath it off, so I'm going to stop there. But that's just from a single matchbox and you can see I've got a a good amount there. We're going to make our little test tube to do this um, reaction in, in this little, uh, in one of these pipettes. And what I'm going to do, these are borosilicate pipettes. I'm just going to use this Dremel tool to uh, score off the end, the pointy end. So let's do that right now. Just score this off. Like this. So here it goes. You just score this in. I mean, uh, melt this in. So here's my tank argon. I've just connected that to a second pipe pad. And what we'll do is just blow out any air in this tube with a jet of argon. So here it goes. It will also take some of that water vapor out of there that you can see in there. Now we're going to put a small amount of this phosphorus, red, this uh, amorphous phosphorus, in this tube as such. Fill it up maybe about just so it fills the bottom like that. There we go, that's a good amount. Okay, we now have our trays of red phosphorus in the bottom of that tube and an argon balloon to exclude any air out of this. What I'm gonna do is cool the top part of this tube to help it condense. Now I'm gonna heat it up gently. You can see the uh, phosphorus vapor coming up the tube and that oily sort of yellowish liquid that you see coming up there is actually yellow phosphorus. I actually don't want to uh, burn the paper residue that's mixed in with it. So there it comes. It looks like I've gotten most of it, so I'm going to stop right there. So what I'm going to do now is, there's the, there's the phosphorus right there, I'm going to, the white phosphorus, I'm going to score it up here, start scoring it. Okay, I finished score, scoring it, now I'm going to snap it off and then uh, stick that um, Fill the tube up with water and then just move all the uh, white phosphorus onto the bottom of the tube. In water it's pretty stable, it won't um, react with the air. Here it is in the bottom of this tube, finally isolated and it's got water on it so it won't react with the air. What I plan to do now is fill this tube, uh, take out some of the water, fill this tube with argon and then what I plan to do is seal the top end of the tube. Okay, here's another batch that I just put together. That yellow stuff right there that moves around is still liquid. So what we're going to do is ignite this by exposing it to air. There it is. There it is. Okay, here's a little drop of it on this cardboard, and I'm going to just stick it in this Q-tip here, soak it up in there. There we go, see it spontaneously ignites in there. 
quite violent and hard. So when that gets on your skin, you can imagine how that feels. Like. 